Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Over here, I do Daz 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Now, what we're going to actually take a look at today is something which I thought I'd covered previously. Uh, I've done other lighting things, whether that's HDRI, uh, the spotlights, point lights, emissives, I've done all that type of stuff. The one thing that I missed at the time, and I only just realised it a couple of days back, is using the sun sky environment to light up our scene and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video today before we get on to that though i just want to give a big shout out to those people who are the members of my channel uh, who like to support the channel by just throwing a little bit of beer money my way every every month or so uh, what that allows me to do is it allows me to keep bringing the best models uh so that you can see images of these models away from promo pics to see whether or not you want to buy them or not so a big thank you to everybody who does support the channel in that way and if you haven't and you fancy it just hit the join button down below this video and you'll be able to go through the process of doing that so a big thank you to everybody who does uh, and also as well a big shout out to all my subscribers uh some six thousand now i think it'll be which is crazy when I when I started this, I didn't think I'd get anywhere near that. So a big thank you to everybody who, who has subscribed. And if you haven't, consider it. Hit the subscribe button down below and the little notification bell so that you can get more videos like this. So we have our model over here in the scene. If I just come across to the camera we'll be using. Uh, some crazy wild woman needs a bit of a wash. Uh, don't be concerned about the, the pose looks a bit strange or weird where she's cutting through the it'll all become apparent as the video moves on so don't worry about that uh, as usual you'll be able to find all the assets to in this scene in the description below if you want to follow along exactly uh so yeah there she is all set up now as you can see over in our environment tab on our render we've, we've got set up there it's scene only uh, which means it will only use artificial lights that's been put into the scene so if i come across and we come to nvidia iray you can see that our model is all black she's not lit up because there's no lighting in the scene whatsoever uh, so we're just going to be lighting this with the sun sky environment when we get round to it now when we are creating a scene one of the first things that we have to consider is our ambient lighting setup every image we create should always have some form of ambient lighting which which can be used either as the main light source or for something to build upon with our other lighting uh, this is normally just going to be the you know sunlight or nighttime lighting, whatever it may be but we always need some form of ambient light in a scene to build upon uh, now to achieve this ambience uh, we really have two options uh, we can either use a hdri for it or we can use as we are in this video the sun sky environment uh, now i've covered hdris previously you'll be able to find a, a link up here somewhere in the video which you can go away and check that video out if you're not quite sure what they are so the sun sky environment lets us set up the lighting conditions for any place in the world and for any time of the day if that's a type of detail that you want and that you're looking for uh, now one advantage of using the sun sky over hdri is that actual fine control over the specific lighting conditions that we want for our scene while it's easy enough to to light up a scene with bright sunshine with a hdri when it comes to specific conditions let's say you want to set up an image up at dawn or you want to do one at sunrise or even during the night it's not so easy to source those type of hdris that can give you that type of lighting uh, but with the sun sky environment we can set up that specific things we can set up the exact time of the day the exact location in the world that we are as mentioned so we can get the exact conditions that we're actually looking for for our scenes there are a couple of disadvantages which we'll touch upon later but you know you'll find that the sun sky environment can do just as good a job uh as what an hdri can do if not in sometimes better when you're looking for those specific lighting conditions themselves and so we need to set up uh, our sun sky environment and to do this we come across to our render settings over here and then we come to the environment section there if you don't have the environment section in there just do a quick iray preview or a quick render and stop it straight away because daz needs to create these two options over there before they appear in this menu over here so once you have that there you come into the environment and you come up to this environment mode at the top uh click it down a little menu appears and you come down to sun sky only give that a click and all of these 
little options appear for you to have a play around with don't worry uh most of them you'll probably won't use uh and all i'm going to really touch on here are the ones that are the basic ones just to get things set up uh, and those will be dome rotation uh ss latitude ss longitude ssd ss time and the ss offset here maybe sun disk intensity as well the rest are just cosmetic things and you can just play around with and experiment with them as, as you see fit but once we get these these basic ones set up that's all you really need to, to go with for the sun sky environment and we will start with the latitude and the longitude setting over here uh, this is your place and position on on earth where you want your scene to be set so for instance we've got uh, 5151 and 0 0.13 in there for the latitude and longitude if i just come over to google for a moment and we can see that those numbers refer to london uh, over in england all you have to do is just put in the the search bar up in google your the town or the city where you, you want your scene to be set maybe it's your hometown with longitude and latitude in it and it'll give you that position on earth and what you need to do is you take these numbers that first one is the latitude the the second one is the longitude take them numbers and just drop them into those relevant places in daz which you can see here latitude and longitude uh that gets your position on earth and then below this you have the, a couple of day and time settings pop the date in and pop the time in and also you need to look at the utc offset uh given that i'm in london that's gmt so i will be at zero at that point well i'm not in london but where i'm setting this scene is in london so that'll be at zero if you're in new york for instance put that down to minus five if you're in the other way australia let's say what are you 12 ahead 12 12 ahead are you 24 ahead whatever whatever it is you had you are in in relation to gmt and once we have the, those basics set up, if we then come across to NVIDIA iRay and give it another click on, we can see that our model is now lit up by the sun sky environment. Uh, I'm going to touch now on a couple of the, the, the downsides of using sun sky. If I just come out to the perspective camera again and look at our character, uh, as we look around, we can see that the world is a little bit barren. There's not much going on there. We have a, a pseudo sky, and there's our sun, I'm guessing, up there. We have a bit of a pseudo sky, and then this grey, monotone, monotonous environment that our model set up. Might be great if you're doing something on the moon and you want the dark sky, but not great uh, place for our character to be set up in. With a HDRI, of course, you would have the image background that you could use if you so wanted to, whether that would be the sky or... You know just whatever the, the image would be on the hdri but with the sun sky environment you have absolutely nothing nothing at all uh secondly another downside of using the sun, sun sky environment is if i come over here and i come over and i just create a quick spotlight and just position it where that camera is and then with the light uh let's have a look just oh, i'll make it blind and should we we'll just go like that absolutely nothing happens and the reason for it is because it says sun sky only so your point lights and your spotlights will not work with the sun sky if you want extra lighting in there what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set up emissives uh where you set up create a primitive turn it into an emissive, an emissive surface and then use that to light up the extra lighting in the scene that you may want uh, again there'll be a video up in the top right up here that you can go and have a look at if you're not sure what emissives are uh and you'll be able to see that to set them all up so what we have we have our character set up just purely lit up by the sun sky environment uh, but as we mentioned the problem that we've got is it looks very barren nothing going on it's not a great image to set up like this so what we need to do if we do this oh and incidentally before i jump onto this i might as well touch upon it while i'm here uh, dome rotation uh, it works similar to what it does with hdri we can just rotate the dome around and it will change the angle of the light to whatever we want it to be just uh, very similar to what will work with a hdri uh, if i just go back to where i want it uh, and likewise, the, the sun disk intensity, uh, it just brings down, doesn't brighten things off. It just, it just brings the intensity of it down somewhat. 
Uh, you could go up to any number and it will lock it up and knock it up and down as you see fit. Those are your basics. Those are your basics. But as I've mentioned there, the environment looks a little bit bland. So what you really need to do when you use the Sun Sky environment is to use an actual environment that you're setting it in. Now, you could be setting it indoors and having the sun shine through the windows again. I'll point out another video up there for lighting indoors, even though this one uh, works with the HDRI, the same principle applies to the sun sky environment. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, so yeah, you need some form of environment. Otherwise, you're going to have this gray background and this, this loose sky. Uh, if you can avoid using the grey background, obviously you'll avoid using it. So what I've got here is I've got an environment already in place, and this will explain when they turn the environment on, the strange floaty type of uh, pose that she's in. If I now come across and just put the environment on, now again, there's no light in this, okay? This is just purely lit up by the sun, sun sky environment that we've got. If I turn on the environment, we can now see the sun is getting partially blocked the lights getting partially blocked by the environment and now we create our image that we want uh and it's all lit up as the way we want a couple of extra things in there like i put some dust in the sky and whatnot just around her but uh again this is just set up with that sun sky environment we'll turn the environment off and i'll have to come out sadly because of the way iri works come back in turn the environment off and we just and we'll lit up just by the sun sky environment turn the environment on so that the, the trees are blocking part of the sun etc etc and we end up with a pretty decent looking image uh, you may want to brighten this up a little bit it's a little bit too dark for my light just a little too dark not much uh you can't use spotlights you can't use uh point lights as i said and i'm not going to use emissives because i don't want to add any artificial lighting into this scene so all i will really do is i'll just come across to tone map and then i'll just play with the f-stop maybe just lower it to just brighten the image up a little bit uh i mean that's perfectly fine uh and so there you have it that is all that it is to the sun sun sky environment simple lighting to light simple scenes to give you the things and the images that you want uh my motto when everything that i do and does is keep it simple you can light up a perfectly good scene just using one one light source the sunlight the sun sky environment in this case same applies with hdri you don't need to add in five ten spotlights and point lights and set up all this artificial lighting to get good images uh keep it simple use the tools that you've got available to you and you can get a semi-decent image uh, in next to no time uh, so that's it that is the sun sky environment uh, there's not much more to it than that uh, i did mention over here that there's all these different little things you can put in uh, there's you know saturation if you want to play with this so you can add a bit of haze into the background that'll haze things up a little bit uh, and affect the light in some way because it'll be cloud cover i suppose that'll be you can add a bit of tint in there if you so wish to do it uh we've got now a, a looks like a morning or a, a sunset thing it just changed the, the the hue of the light uh you know the saturation will oops what have we done the saturation will just play with the again with the colors you can just play around with that if you want to get exactly what it is that you want the horizon height is kind of irrelevant in this one i mean i suppose if i ra raise the horizon light up it'll block out part of the sun and again if you were showing something on the horizon you could blur it out a little bit but yeah that's all you really need to do uh changing those basic startup numbers that we looked at rotation longitude latitudes the day and the time and, and everything with it will give you a different look each time but it's just finding what you want and what you like uh and just keeping it simple so if you enjoyed this image uh, this image this this video uh and you feel you've got something out of it please consider giving it a like down below that tells youtube that i'm a better youtuber than what i actually am and it bungs me up in the the algorithms also as i mentioned earlier if you haven't already please consider joining the channel and throwing a little bit of love my way or uh you know if you haven't already subscribing hit the little notification bell down below uh, that would be really really appreciated so thanks for watching thanks for getting to the end uh, if you have any questions or any comments just drop them down below in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can and 
I shall see you next time. Bye-bye now.